Good morning, loves. Welcome back to Life Adventures in Keto. My name is Michelle. Today, I'm glad you press play with me today. It tells me you want to learn more about the Miracle Morning Routine. I'm bringing this video to you today from lovely nature, Nature Hills. And I've had quite a week, so I needed some nature this morning for Michelle to heal. Anyway, you guys, let's discuss the Miracle Morning Routine. I'm bringing this video to you today from lovely nature, Nature Hills, and I've had quite a week, so I needed some nature this morning for Michelle to heal. Anyway, you guys, let's discuss the Miracle Morning Routine. Hal Elrod's video that I came across a long time ago, I don't even know, probably seven years ago, it was just really interesting, and this program has worked for me on many occasions, as other things have. Mental health is very important to me. I've went down some dark roads. I'm an overthinker. I have OCD. I have noise aversions. Anyway, you guys, the Miracle Morning Routine really does set you up for a great day. But you don't have to do it by 8 a.m. He often even shares in this book, which we will get into, that you could do this in 60 seconds a day if that's all you had. Anyway, with, what time you work on you is what time you work on you. If you have 10 minutes to dedicate to yourself, if you have 10 seconds, uh, five times a day to work on yourself, you can fit this miracle morning routine in. So do come back again and, um, well, I'll see you next segment. Let's discuss it. Good morning, loves. Welcome back to Life Adventures and Keto. My name is Michelle. Here is the elusive miracle morning routine I've been promising you guys for quite some time. The Miracle Morning, the not-so-obvious secret guaranteed to transform your life before 8 a.m. Now, hold on. You don't have to do it before 8 a.m. You can do this Miracle Morning routine at any point during your day to be helpful. It is by Hal Elrod. Back when this book was published, he was the best-selling author of Taking Life Head On. Hal's story is transformational and inspirational. I will link it in the description box below. If that sounds like something interesting to you, please do stay tuned. And I will go through for you how I do this Miracle Morning routine for myself. Information is well. Go buy this book. Many other Miracle Morning routine reviewers out there. This was published by 2016 by the How Erod International Corporation and All Rights Reserved. So we're just going to go through this um, very briefly, and I'm going to explain to you how I do the Miracle Morning Routine so you can get um, kind of like a guideline. I'm not trying to share his entire program, but it is a great program, okay? So anyway, he gives us a dedication here. Content. Let's move you forward. There's a whole online Miracle Morning community that you can be involved in. He gives wonderful quotes here on this page. He's got one by Albert Einstein. There are only two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle. The other is as though everything is a miracle. Albert Einstein. Miracles do not happen in contradiction with nature, but in contradiction with what we know about nature. St. Augustine. Life begins each morning. Joel Olstein. I agree with all of those. So he gives your set. He gives your story. You can hear that on his YouTube video as well. But it's really, really heart wrenching and inspirational story. So I implore you to go look more into that. It will help you put uh, things in perspective. So. At the beginning here, it says, it's your time. This is your story. Know that whatever you are in life right now is both temporary and exactly where you are supposed to be. You have arrived at this moment to learn what you must learn so you can become the person you need to be to create the life you truly want. Even when life is difficult or challenging, especially when life is difficult and challenging, the present is always an opportunity for us to learn, grow, and become better than you've ever been before. Grab a pen. 
Before you read any further, please grab a pen or pencil so you can write in this book. As you read, mark anything that stands out which you may want to come back to later. Underline, circle, highlight, fold the corners of the pages and take notes in the margins so you can come back to this quickly. Recall the most important lessons, ideas, and strategies. Okay, with your pen in hand, let's get started. The next chapter of your life begins, is about to begin. So, number step one, he wants you to, it's time to wake up to your full potential. Two, the Miracle Morning Origin, born out of desperation. What have you ever done out of desperation that was beneficial to you, though? Three, the 95% reality check. We all need this one, you guys and gals. The 95% reality check. Four, why did you wake up this morning? What is your why? Five, the five step snooze proof wake up strategy for all of the snoozeaholics. If you really think about it, hitting the snooze button in the morning doesn't even make sense. It's like saying, I hate getting up in the morning, so I do it over and over and over again. Dimitri Martin. I'd like mornings better if they started later. Unknown. Number six, the lifesavers, S-A-V-E-R-S, six practices guaranteed to save you from a life of unfulfilled potential. Success is something you attract by person you become, Jim Rohn. An extraordinary life is all about daily, continuous improvements in the areas that matter most, Robin Sharma. What are you doing daily for anyone or yourself? That improves it. What things during the day are you doing to improve your life? Here's the lifesavers. The first of the lifesaver is S. It is not for sleep. Silence is the first practice of lifesavers and made one of the most significant areas for improvement for our noisy, fast paced, and overstimulated lifestyles. Let's say that again. The life savers. The S is for silence. In the matter of silence, the soul finds the path in a clear light. And what is elusive and deceptive resolves itself into crystal clearness. Mahatma Gandhi. Is that how you say that? Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi. Okay, and a year from books. Matthew Kelly. A is for affirmations. It's the repetition of affirmations that leads to belief. Once the belief becomes a deep conviction, things begin to happen. Muhammad Ali. You will be a failure until you impress the subconscious with the conviction you are a success. This is done by making an affirmation which clicks. Florence Scoville Shin. I'm going to reread that one. You will be a failure until you impress the subconscious with the conviction you are a success. This is done by making an affirmation which clicks. Florence Scoville Shim. Lifesavers. V is for visualization. Ordinary people believe only in the possible. Extraordinary people visualize not what is possible or probable, but rather what is impossible. And by visualizing the impossible, they begin to see it as possible. Cherie Carter Scott. See things as you would have them be instead of as they are. Robert Collier. 
the lifesavers, E is for exercise. If you don't make time for exercise, you'll probably have to make time for illness. Robin Sharma. The only exercise most people get is jumping to conclusions, running down their friends, sidestepping responsibility, and pushing their luck. Unknown. Lifesavers R is for reading. A person who won't read has no advantage over one who can't read. Mark Twain. Reading is to the mind, what exercise is to the body, and prayer is to the soul. We become the books we read. Matthew Kelly. I will be reading Find Rest, A Woman's Devotional for Lasting Peace in a Busy Life, Shanti Feltham. The last S is for scribing. S is for scribing. Whatever it is that you write, putting words on the page is a form of therapy that doesn't cost a dime. Deanna Rab. Ideas can come from anywhere and at any time. The problem with making mental notes is that the ink fades very rapidly. Rolf Smith. So some of the things he says you can have by this routine is to gain clarity, capture ideas, review lessons, and acknowledge your progress. I bought myself a pen. I forgot to bring it to this photo shoot with this little dream notebook for my scribing. Be very focused. And he suggests in journaling and the scribing and tells you guidelines of it. So here he gives you a breakdown of the six minute miracle morning. If you don't have it six minutes daily, he gives you a rundown of that in this book. He gives you options to customize a miracle morning routine to fit your lifestyle, any lifestyle, and achieve the goals you want to achieve by putting in the lifesavers and sticking to them. From unbearable to unstoppable, the real secret to forming habits that will transform your life in 30 days. He breaks that down into why he's telling you to do what you should do and gives you examples. Let's see. Let's see. T in the Miracle Morning, a 30-day life transformation challenge, which people have been put in play and have had results since this book has been published. You can go look those stories up. And another invitation to the Miracle Morning community online. And then he gives acknowledgments of all the people who've done it. I mean, it is a great read. I suggest you go by and find it. I'll try to find it on Amazon and put that link in here as well. I have no, um, I have no ties to How Elrod. I really appreciate him putting out this information. He's written several more books since I have read this. So you guys go see him. Okay, love. So that gives you a little um, look into the Miracle Morning routine. On exercise, I'm going to be doing yoga for weight loss. And so, I think that covers all the things that Hal Elrod suggests us to do to implement the Miracle Morning routine. This is going to just be the outline of it. And in 30 days, I hope to give you a good breakdown of how it has worked for me in the last 30 days. I really appreciate that you pressed play with me today. Please do all the youtube -y things down below. I would certainly appreciate it. It does help the channel grow. I hope you have a blessed day, and until next time, keto on and keto strong, and we'll see you right back here next time.